Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mr. Automation Channel. Today, let's understand one of the XPath concept called normalized space. And we will understand what is this normalized space and how we can utilize in the XPath creation. So let's get started. So this is the example page which I have taken, which is a Gmail sign-in page. So let me select any one of the element in this page. For example, sign-in. If I inspect this sign-in, I could see it is under uh, span tag so span tag is under anchor tag so let's take this as an example and how we can create a x path using normalized space let me quickly use a find by string then this is the anchor tag so our relative x path starts with anchor tag right so i will show you how uh, everyone uh, identify the x path using this simple trick and after that i will show you how we can use that same trick to modify with normalized space okay now in this anchor tag there are many attributes we have so first example i will take this area label and under area label I, it is having a sign in into the gmail so i will take this area label and square braces and this is the attribute and this a which we have given right it's a tag name and after that attribute and after that we have to provide attribute value now attribute value is sign into gmail right this is the attribute value that we need to provide okay now we got one of two items so we have in this page there are two items it is showing so one of two items are showing up here now again you will again uh, try to see i mean for example we got one of one item so i can use the indexing for this and i can find it so how we can use that indexing is just provide this gray braces or curly braces before and after and at the end you again provide a square braces using that square braces you can select one so this will give you a one of one item so this is not identifying the exact x path on my page so i will change this one to two okay the second one is getting identified so this is the actual x path now so in the general case the most of the uh, most of you you use this same kind of similar pattern right so what if if the developer slightly change this array label for say example in this area label uh, he thought that uh, spacing is must required for this to adjust in the ui so he provided one space like this here and he provide some space at the end like this here and now if i try to identify that x path so i no longer find that x path right so in this case your automation test case gets failed and you again go and inspect the same element and you will try to adjust the text path so in situations like this our normalized space will overcome so how that normalized space will uh, correct this option let's see so and similar to this pattern like uh, in the relative x path like if we give uh, let me open notepad okay I mean normal x path how we provide is double forward slash tag name and after that tag name square brace open close and in this square brace you can provide at the rate attribute attribute equal to and after that you provide attribute value right like this you provide and this is the pattern that we follow now here with the normalized space how we will modify this function so we will use similarly like this tag name and after that square braces and in, inside it you can provide normalized space normalize hyphen space and you can provide a small function symbol like open close braces and after that equal to the value and inside this inside this normalized space you can provide an arguments so those arguments can be one you can provide i mean arguments are two types so two types so one is argument can be at the rate any attribute in case this array label is one of the attribute or an id is another attribute so this is the one case and next case is a text Okay, this is the two things that you can provide now in this case so in the middle of that area label we have found that our developers has changed that added a space at the front and at the 
at the starting and at the ending and I will add one more space in the middle also okay like this so because of the requirement the e has changed this entirely a new label and we are trying to identify that same label which is not getting identified and uh, eventually your automation test case get failed so now using the same thing how we can modify this entire function is using the real normalized space function so using that normalized space function how i can identify it so for example here in this same xpath so how we can identify it let's see so this is a attribute value that we have provided right so i will cut this and here i will select or add normalize hyphen space now in this function i will provide that label name okay now you can see i just say i just change the normalize space instead of aria label so first time it was not identifying right now it is getting identified this normalized space what it does is it it acts like a trim function okay trim function so i will it's it's act like a trim function okay so it will remove a spaces which are there at the beginning at the end and also in the middle so eventually it will take only one space in the middle of the string or uh, string words like example sign into gmail so even though you have a multiple spaces you have to provide at least one space so that that one space will be taken as an uh, spacing of words uh, even though your xpath has a multiple spaces right so this is the one way of identifying it and now using the same anchor tag so i can simply go and select this sign in option so i will quickly copy this so i have provided this attribute right area label so i will remove this area label from here okay area label from there and also remove this indexing also and i will remove this parenthesis at the beginning sign in now you can see it has identifying even though there is a span tag inside our anchor tag it is getting identified using this normalized space again you can provide one more square braces under square braces you can provide some indexing to it so that it will identify so there are two actually so for that you can select one of two or one of i think it's not getting identified okay so for that again i will add one more indexing right it is getting identified now so this this two ways we have identified right one of two and one of one so now our all right so far we have seen about how we can identify a normalized space right now using a one more attribute along with this which will add more value to your xpath which is contains so you you know right contains how we use in the xpath so let's go to our notepad so this is tag name uh, inside that uh, square braces and you will use contains contains and you will provide some arguments right and a value so this is how you provide a similar uh, x path which contains right you, which uses a contains keyword now we will apply same thing to this normalize space and we will identify x paths so now get into the page now relative x path double forward slash anchor tag and then followed by value and it is identifying one of two okay which is identifying so now in the same thing and now we have to use the contains so contains we just saw right so before normalize space i will use contains so in the xpath everything is small so don't need to use a, a first letter capital letter okay you have to use the small letters so contains normalize space at the rate area label sign into gmail then after that before a square brace you have to use a close brace okay now uh, it is getting identified no right so 
when we are using this contains we have to provide inside values as arguments and a value so argument is this normalize space at the rate label and followed by not equal but a comma okay now it is getting highlighted right so contains is something which will identify your xpath when the words are matching in that word so here sign into or into gmail or gmail are the different different combination of words which i can provide with the contains so i will remove this gmail from here and still our xpath is getting highlighted right this is the advantage of using a contains now if i provide some indexing to it just to show you the exactly which attribute or which element it is getting highlighted in the page right so we are able to identify right so this is the importance of using normalize space with the contains and you can use this normalize space with any kind of attributes or you can directly use a text combination to find it i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching if you have any questions queries do post in my comment section and i'll be out thank you